Hello, welcome to another Open Geospatial tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an interactive uh, dashboard using LeafMap with just a couple of codes. So this is the final um, outcome. We're going to create a dashboard that has a uh, tab, three tabs, uh, as menu at the top. So you can click each menu. So you will be able to put anything you want on this dashboard. It can be text, it can be images, it can be video or it can be some interactive map that, uh, for example, uh, leaf map. And we can have all the inter widgets interactively. You can change things uh, interactively. So it's uh, very, very cool. And I'm going to show you how to do that step by step. You can easily deploy this one as a web application uh, using a uh, hugging face. So you can host it for free. And it's going to make it really easy uh, for you to uh, build your own data set and then uh, publish it so that other people can have access to your uh, data product. So uh, I'm going to show you step by step how to do that. In order to follow the tutorial, I would recommend that you go to the LeafMap website. So go to leafmap.org and then click uh, on the left side, Map Liberate, and scroll down to find dashboard. And from here, you can click this button here, download. Um, it used to uh, automatically pop the, uh, the dialog to save the file to your computer. It doesn't do that anymore, but you can simply just right click, uh, select save as, and then just save this one to your computer, uh, whichever uh, directory you want to save to, and then uh, just click save. I already have that, so I'm just going to cancel. Uh, once you have that, you can open that one using uh, VS Code or using um, Jupyter Lab. So I'm just going to open this one using my uh, Jupyter Lab. So contact activate um, Geo, and then just type Jupyter. Lab, hit enter. It should be able to open uh, the Jupyter Lab uh, interface. Then I will show you the source code. So what we're going to do here is to go through the source code. And once we finish um, creating the source code, then we can uh, deploy this one as an interactive dashboard using uh, Vuela. We we covered it later. So first, let's take a look at this. I'm going to zoom into the source code so you can see uh, more clearly. What we are going to use is the Leaf Map Map Libre um, backend. So basically, we want to create some uh, interactive uh, 3D map. We are also going to use IPy widget to create widget. So basically, you can the dashboard you can think about is uh, it's composed of different type of widget. Uh, you can use any IPy widget. And so what we're going to do here is to create a tab widget. So this is the class uh, built on top IPy Beautify. So it's a tab widget, and you can give a title. So the title basically is the one they're going to show you at the top here. It's a dashboard, but you can uh, change it to anything else, uh, whatever you like. So for example, you can say interactive um, dashboard, and then you're going to have uh, tabs. So the tabs here can be one tab, can be two tabs, uh, whatever number of tabs that you want. So this is basically the tabs, the title. Uh, you'll be something here. It's going to show up, for example, home, map, settings. Uh, it can be whatever um, name you want to use. Also, you can use icons. So for the icon, it can be uh, anything from the material design uh, icons. So home, map, and then call. If you want to learn more, you can just type MDI icons and then just Google it. Click the link. You should be able to find all kinds of um, icons in here. So all you need is just basically whatever name showing up in here. Uh, and then you just prefix that with MDI. So whatever name that you find, and then you just replace this one. Uh, we, we, we can change it later. Okay, so this is how you want to specify how many tabs you want and how many icons. Also, do you want to show the uh, panel title or not? So it, panel title basically means when you click here, it's going to show this. But sometimes if you want to show the, the title here again, you can do that. Uh, I will show you how to change it later so you can see the differences. Then you can set the help title about this dashboard. So the help basically is the button on the upper right corner here. So this one allows you to maybe add some additional information. It can be HTML, it can be something else. Uh, so for now, we just use a simple uh, HTML here. So you can see we have three C's, uh, the shortcut, and then three uh, uh, bullet points. And that's it. Uh, you can add more information. So this is, you can place any HTML, anything that uh, can be accepted by the HTML widget. And that's pretty much it. So we have created this widget and then uh, what we can do here is to change the content. So right now, if you don't say anything else, let me, let me show you here. 
let me create a new code block and let me just create this one and then i can just show the the widget oops uh leave map is not defined we need to import it and then just run this one oops or oh, need to uh it needs to be showing the uh the widget because this one is kind of a container so there's a widget inside the container so i can just type uh, widget and then if you want it you should be able to see this widget so this is exactly right now it doesn't do there's not much functionality because because we haven't put any widget but you see it's pretty responsive it already works and there's not much content so right now it's using just the home the content so just the default one and this is what if we change to true if it one again so this is what is mean by the panel title that means if you click this tab we want to show them uh, the title again here you can do it so but since we only have three simple one we don't really need to have so this title so that's why we turn this one to false okay so pretty easy so now we have this and like i said you can change whatever title here to anything you like and once you have this um these are the basic things so later we can change the content to something else but now we just home content uh, map content or settings content and again you can change the um the icon here so let me show you uh let's go to some of these May, not everything is supported but some of the common ones should be supported so for example if you click this one and uh, there's an airplane right so you can simply um let's see if you can copy here if not we can just uh, figure the name so airplane so i'm going to come back to here i can change this one uh mdi map to airplane a i r p l a n e and then one again so you see now it's uh the the icon is uh the airplane so it's pretty cool like you can find any icon that you want uh you can add another one so for example be uh, the setting i can have maybe um what else do we want to use maybe let's say population so maybe later we can have a population app or something like that population and so then you want to have another icon so i can see here if we uh, have any for example human related uh stuff for example they say um is there some kind of people icon p e o e l e and i just say people family i can maybe um about um about this one account box let's see if it works account box so i'm going to have another one here m d i account oops account box it may not work oh it works so you can see here right now we have this icon so later we can create a population map or something like that so this is how you can easily create a dashboard although right now we don't have content we'll fill it later and so that you can customize this um help icon so right now it's just some simple stuff so i can say here one two three okay uh maybe step one uh click on the app okay and then step two uh navigate the map and then anyway why well, you, you get the idea so you can change the content so if i run this one here you see now the content has been changed also with the shortcut here you can have maybe user guy right and run again run this one so you see it has been changed to user guy and like i said this is very simple you can you don't need to know javascript uh, all you need is just some simple python functions and then you will create a widget once we have this now let's create some um uh integrity widget so that you can populate the content so that your uh, dashboard is more interesting rather than have some simple content here so what we want to do is to utilize uh, leaf map and what i'm going to do here let me delete this so i'm going to create a uh, leave map using map library so we have the globe and then the liberate uh liberty style and then have the um sidebar widget everything one thing you need to keep in mind is to create a container because uh, for the container we want to use something like in here that we see on the right so this one uh, if it's just the map then you don't have the container the container means you can create the sidebar widget so that makes your map more interactive so this is something what we want is to uh, create a map container and then uh, we can uh, have the home tab so the home tab is the one here you do the, we want to change the content so you can add something for example a uh, title h1 and then the paragraph and also you can have a 
uh, image or something like that and that's it and then you can also change the settings also um we want to populate the content with the map so what you can do here is using just this uh tw doc set tab content so the tw is this um tab container that we already created so right now basically we have this empty you can think about this is the template and we want to fill the template with some real content so what we can do here is just reference this container and then we can call this set tab content and so for this one here we have zero one two three so we have four tabs in total and this is what it's doing right so for the home tab uh basically the home tab content so this is just the html widget and then for the second one we are going to basically uh, put the map container basically the map with the sidebar widget on this um, middle one here at the second one and then uh, the settings actually this one the last one so it should be three and let me show you here right and after that you can do the same thing you can call the display function or you can just simply uh, write this one it should be the same result so now this one again um, take a look it's pretty cool so we have a dashboard with the home page we have the map and the map has the default base map here and we have this sidebar that we're filling with um, the map container this one alone is empty because we haven't put any contents in there and also the settings you also just a uh, settings tab but you are uh, you can certainly fill in with more content so uh here for example let's say um the population uh, for example we're going to create a population map so how can we do that let me go to the lead map website so i can find another uh population example let me see if i have anything i don't remember i have a uh population uh, or oh, it can be anything else uh, for example i can basically uh, cross place maps and let me see yeah this one can be a population so you see here we have this example so all you need is very simple uh you can just create this and then copy this come back to the uh, mapping here so i can create another map for example this one you can use to maybe map two okay and then add the data and then add the layer control uh, maybe we don't need this one because we all have the map container and once we have that we can say m dot create um container okay and then we can display the map let me change to map two all right and then run it oops uh the data are not defined so i need to copy the link to the data as well so let me go back to here copy this one and then paste here run it run this one so you should be able to see uh the map all right and so this is just a 2d map i can set the default settings to projection to globe so projection equal to uh, globe then it should be a global map so and imagine this is the map that you created and you want to put this one in the dashboard so you can uh, show it to other people uh, very easy so once you create the map the only need is just this map too so in order to do that let me uh, uncommon this one because we don't want to show it sometimes some of the map can only be shown once Oh, it's already so here. Yeah, interesting. Um, so let's see if it works. Now, what we need to do is to use the DW. So we're gonna set the tab content, and but we're gonna put it in the third one. So it'll be zero one two. So it should be basically set tab content two. And let's see if it works. DW dot set uh, tab content, and then the index will be two. And uh, what we want to put here is M two, basically our map, and this one, this one. So then we go back to here and take a look. It's very really cool. So now we have the dashboard, we have the uh, the map, we also have the population, and oh, right now we put the map and we we are missing the sidebar. So you see the sidebar is not here. If you want to see the sidebar, you need to have here is to uh, use this one m dot uh, container. So in that way, the sidebar is over there. Let me go back to here again and take a look so we just replace the content so now we have the we have the map we have the population and you can have the settings to something else or it can be any uh ipi widget uh, if you want so we have the population map here we also have the cyber that's it so we are we have finished this content but in order to deploy as a web app uh, we need to clean up the content so usually you want to put everything in one single cell 
and then so that it will be one from the start to the beginning so let me show you how to uh, clean it up uh, you can certainly have import the library and then put all the things in here uh, what we want to do is to be, um, have everything in one single cell so what i need to do here is to put all the copy all the content okay and then put in one single cell so we're going to set um, the icon the title and then create a map and they have the settings and also we want to show the population maps so we're going to have this one here all right uh control c and then paste here and then the last link last one okay sec uh, this then let me remove all of this and let's try this one one more time so run this and then run this one so hopefully uh, it works if it doesn't okay and we're missing the data link and then we also need to copy this one you can put it at the top or somewhere else maybe i can put just here and run this one again so hopefully uh, you will see it okay let's try again the map uh, the population the settings tab uh, that's it so um then i can remove all this okay so assume this is done this is what you want to look like uh, you can change the image to something else if you want to uh, it's up to you all you can do is just uh, replace this one with some other html and that's it so how can we actually uh, run this one as an interactive web app so what you can do here is to use voila so i'm going to close this one and then i'm going to go to my um folder here and what you can do is to simply uh, open this one. Oh, uh, by the way i think i already run it earlier to show you so let me go to stop uh, this one here and so in order to run it as a web app you need to on that activate your environment and then just pick install voila so voila basically is going to turn your notebook into an interactive web app and once it's done you can just voila and then whatever the name of the notebook but you can also um, point to a directory then you will be able to uh, use all the uh, notebooks to render all the notebooks so for this one because we only have one notebook so it's just voila this book to ipyb and then just hit enter it's auto automatically open this one in your browser so you see it's actually executing the notebook but uh, we don't see the source code you just see the interactive web app so you can see the uio here right now right you see the images you see the map and there's no other stuff no source code and also the population so i can click ah, pretty cool right so this is just a simple dashboard that you create using python without javascript knowledge and you can also go to the settings right everything looks like just on dashboard if you really want to make this one accessible you can uh use hacking face so i can show you here i can deploy some of those uh as a Zupino notebook uh or using solara so these are things that you can certainly do right i can create this one i can um and render this one in the uh in uh on the browser and i think i have this called place map so this one is similar to the population that we created right so you can deploy this one either as a web app like this or there's also a voila uh the template i think i have a voila geospatial template or voila maybe a couple of those here so it's basically uh, you can uh, deploy this one on the web and then so other people can access it um not sure if it still works but you get the idea so feel free to um use the example but the goal is that you can you know, use the notebook and then just using the map uh, create tab widget so you can have a simple dashboard with multiple tabs and then you can customize uh, to your liking and you can add maps you can add widget you can add anything you like uh, to your web app and so people don't need to know understand your source code to be able to use your web app okay so that's all for this tutorial i hope you find it useful i will see you in the next one take care